so we're a few hours before Comic Con, and Jake's still not done. They're adding their shirt in their school. It's because it's okay. It's not okay. It's hard school, no one cares. Yeah, true. This is Dan, but they don't want to be on camera. And they forgot their goddamn wig, and I still don't know if they found a way to go get their wig. Did you find a way to go get your wig? No, they didn't. They didn't find a way. Because no one's awake. We found sanctuary. McDonald's. We're gonna eat and be more fat. Okay guys, so now we're at McDonald's because we got kicked out of the school. Here's Dan. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, now we're just chilling before going to Comic Con. Our asses have to be here for like an hour and then we're just gonna get on the fucking train. Cause Jake still has finals to do. Cause Jake's still a junior. I think Dan's still a junior, right? I'm free though, cause I just graduated, so. So, um, what happened, Dan? So, I left my wig at home cause I'm a fucking idiot. And, um, I texted like 30 people to see if they could bring me one. And one said, yeah, they could bring me one that I could borrow, but like, it's not the color I want. So I texted my friend Jace, who lives over by where Jake lives, and I told him I will give him this keychain, it's of his best girl from Love Live, and then um, this figure, which is also of his best girl from Love Live, both doubling the cost of the wig just for him to bring it for me. Yeah, Dan is committed, because Dan's a good cosplayer. Who's here with me on my vlog adventures today? Uh, us. Stop zooming in on me, bitch. I'm not zooming in on you. I don't want to see your unblended face. <laughs> I am you right now. That's scary enough in person. Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so why do you guys come to Comic Con every year? Uh, we like the people who come here. Uh, we just like to dress up, feel like nerds, and meet new friends potentially. Yeah, and the atmosphere here is so much chill, like, it's so much fun, you know, just meeting new people and, you know, collectively, um, just being out. Doing it's doing yourself. Honestly, it's like yeah. Be yourself. Exactly. And why do you guys like to cosplay? Um, mostly, I like to cosplay people that I feel I, that resonates home with me. Sora is definitely the bright and bubbly side of me. I have a few other cosplays that I'll probably be doing later, but this one's my personal favorite as Kingdom Hearts was like my all-time favorite game when I was little, and Sora is just my hero. Roxas is my favorite hero from uh, Kingdom Hearts 2. Um, I just resonate with him a lot, um, and I just, I just love making him smile. Nice. And what's your favorite Kingdom Hearts, guys? Favorite Kingdom Hearts? Yeah. It better not be recoded. I'm gonna like kill myself. Oh, uh, mine's two. <laughs> nice. um, it's a toss up between two and Dream Drop Distance. Like, I hadn't played Kingdom Hearts in like five years, and I opened up Dream Drop Distance, and I started crying, and I got to like, miss the game. Like, it's so beautiful! So beautiful! So beautiful! Okay, <laughs> nice guys. I'm. <laughs> These thoughts are trying to be all sexy for me. <laughs> Jake, try to be sexy. <laughs> Okay, so what do you enjoy about Comic Con? I love seeing all the fun, fun costumes and all the panels. Of course, the celebrities is the best part. I, and I just love, 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 love seeing all the creativity that everyone has. Nice. And then what do you enjoy about cosplay? That's the fun part is the creativity. You can be anyone you want, you can take any direction you want. Like, my poison ivy isn't the traditional poison ivy, so that's why I like it. Oh, yeah, but it's nice as heck, though. It's so pretty. Yeah, so I just like that you can be different. Nice. And how long have you been cosplaying? Uh, a few years. Nice. Yeah. Guys, the whole gang is here. <laughs> now, just chilling at Subway. And say hi, guys. Hi. Yeah. I asked this bitch to cut my sandwich in half. She just did the top, and the rest was connected. But I feel bad. Yeah. I know how it is, I know how the it is. Subway life. The subway life is hard, guys. It, they are in a rush. God help these women. <laughs> this mall is so beautiful, but it's hot as fuck. 
Look, it's like an open mall. Who the fuck builds an open mall in Arizona? The devil, that's who. Look at these gang of cool kids just hanging around. What? This hat makes me want to I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> Okay. okay. We have a new person on the group. No. no. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay, you look cute. No, you look adorable. They're shy. Now we're in the vendor's hall. Guys, they have just opened. I know, it just opened. There are so many fucking people. It's it's so packed though, but they have some crazy shit. Um, I don't want to be rude to the vendors. But they're like selling Yuri here, and I was like weak as fuck. And they have like sticky notes covering the boobs and the clits and the vaginis. So it was like a school made of naked girls. Hi there, guys. Okay, so why do you guys enjoy coming to Comic Con? Well, this is my first time coming to Comic Con. This is my third time coming to like a convention. Um, I I just I love playing Overwatch. I play it a little bit too much. Um, I. Diva's the only tank that I play if I play anything. Um, so I just, I like representing her. I like, you know, being somebody that I'm not, I guess. And just, you know, showing people that I'm a geek too and a nerd. And uh, personally, I just I just love the way Genji is such a such a controversy, such a, such a meme on the internet. I need so, uh, healing. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I really enjoy. I like making people laugh, and so I come dressed as Genji just for the laughs, for the fun, and then uh, she's, she's my one. So. Okay. Um, I was just wondering, have you seen the news about how the Koreans women march? They use Diva symbol, the bunny, yes. as um, their symbol for their march. How do you feel about that? I think that's really cute, and I think that's awesome because she's she's a tiny, like she's a baby Diva. She's tiny, but she's got this giant ass mask. She's so cool, and I think I'm really glad that they made her tank. They they needed something like that, and it's just. It kind of has like this, hell yeah, I'm gonna kind of get in your face and kill you. That's yeah. what she does. It really contrasts with uh, exactly. Zarya. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This yeah. big, bulky yeah. Russian woman. And then yeah. Just, it's kind of nice <laughs> to have a little have, baby. Like, kind of, you know, player like that. So, yeah. Now, um, as a person of color, do you find any troubles in the cosplaying community? Uh, not at all, actually. Um, size, color, it doesn't matter. Like, mm -hmm. if, if you can, if you're able for, to recognize someone and then someone for, to recognize you, it's all good. Yes, it's so yeah. good, Just yeah. Like, hey, so, yeah, I feel like, <laughs> as the cosplay group of people, we're all very welcoming, so. Mm -hmm. Nice, all right. Oh wait, do you mind if you put the mask on so I can get a full body of you guys? Because you guys are awesome, so. Awesome. Oh my god, this is great. Okay. Hey! Hey! Do the voice, cha. Alright, so what do you guys enjoy about Comic Con? Um, well, for me, I really just enjoy everybody's costumes. I love coming here to take pictures with everybody's cosplays. It's freaking amazing. Yeah, pretty much the same. I like to look around and watch everyone, see how they make their costumes. And what do you guys enjoy about cosplay? Um, like, pretty much everything. Like, you can do anything that you want with it. Obviously, I'm a princess. I had a bunch of surgery done with it, so it's just a lot of fun. You can get out of the reality of the world and just go into the fantasy of life and make life good. Nice, <laughs> I think nice. It's kind of cool that you get to like become the people that you look up to and that you get to see on TV and stuff like that. Freddy. Yeah, I was just thinking that right now. I was like, girl, you can come in my dreams though. You're fab. <laughs> okay, thank you, girls. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, guys, I, I feel ashamed. I just bought $43 of manga, but it was $2 for each one, and I couldn't resist, so Heather should have held me back. You know what? I said pick a limit, and you never pick a limit, so. My limit was... <laughs> My limit was um, when that freaking, because all the Chobits, like I bought basically the whole Chobit series, and each one was $2, but then like three and seven were like three and four dollars, and I was like, that's my limit right there. Take them out. So yeah. So why do you enjoy coming to Comic-Con? I enjoy coming to Comic-Con because the people here are just so amazing. 
amazing and wonderful. You just, there's a lot more stuff that you can see and you can actually be yourself rather than just hiding all of your nerdy instincts. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so why do you enjoy cosplaying? Uh, I like designing. So a lot of this is stuff that I design for my costume. Mm -hmm. So just the aspect of having a design putting it together and having the character come to life, that's my favorite thing. So, awesome. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get like a full shot of everything because she is amazing. Look at this. Thank you. Yes, most definitely. Okay, thank you so much. No problem. That ice cream. It's so good. Lick that ice cream. <laughs> they have the little classic fat Pikachu. And we see our friend Elliot has been here marking shit up with his name. So, why do you guys enjoy coming to Comic Con? Just to show off the work. We're really big into building the costumes. Mm, it's nice. We built everything. We just like to show it off and share it with everybody. Nice. And what inspires you guys to cosplay? Uh, actually, our daughter. I brought, me, I brought my daughter to her friends to our first con. And, uh -huh. She's she, snowball from there. Snowball from nice. there. And she's she says she created a monster. She's actually uh, on the East Coast now with the Navy. But we're still nice. cosplaying after she graduated and moved out. So. Nice. Well, you guys look great. So thank you guys for the meet and interview. Thank you. All right, so why do you guys enjoy coming to Comic-Con? Um, I love it actually because the costumes, like the work people put in, stuff like that, it's incredible. Like the dedication people have to just little details. Yeah, I like to see how everyone crafts their own stuff and puts their own little spin on it. It's very interesting to have uh, everyone have a unique costume. So it's cool. And then what do you guys enjoy about cosplaying? I really like the process of It's such a relief once you're done, because there's so much probably heartache and mistakes along the process. There needs a destination. I like it because I love Halloween, it's my favorite time of year, and so it just gives Same. me a chance to dress up more often than just one day out of the year. And what they said, you know, it's a process, it's a fun task. Like, this is simple, and I was still just so happy just to be able yeah. to do it. So. Yeah, and you guys look good. Thank you. Yeah, you look good. Oh, thank you. I'm not even trying, no. <laughs> but okay, so uh, what's your favorite Final Fantasy? Just curious. Um, favorite Final Fantasy? Your favorite? Well, my favorite is Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy VIII. So now I'm interviewing. <laughs> Fuck. All right. <laughs> so, so now I'm interviewing this bitch. I zoomed in. I did zoom in on your face. I hope your foundation was blended right. It's not. Okay. No, this this child is so pure and beautiful. Oh, girl, how you gonna get dick with that face? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> okay. She's a okay. manager of a whole volleyball team, but they're all gay, so I guess she's gonna be. I mean, I'm pretty gay from yoga, so. Okay, so why do you guys like coming to Comic Con? <laughs> I uh, like to suffer. I mean, I think it's. <laughs> <laughs> this is for my vlog. <laughs> And why do you like cosplaying? <laughs> because, because I hate myself. Yeah, that's true so, too. Um, because I'm a slug for like, being different characters. Can I, can I be brutally honest? Yeah. I like attention. Uh, we all do, sweetie. Yeah, we all do. They got asked. Yeah, like, I like, no one was yeah. Back they got asked for a picture. Oh God, like literally. Oh, <laughs> you guys are famous. Oh. Yeah, it's me, a famous Instagram user, Cosmo. They saw me before you. I know. <laughs> Thank you. My inner suit goes crying. Oh. They got asked for another picture. I swear to God, they're famous. <laughs> Guys, BB-8 is here. Oh, not to Now we're just chilling, guys. Phoenix Comic Con takes a lot out of you. It's tiring as fuck. Hey, Jake. Okay. Yeah, Comic Con takes a lot out of you. It's, don't get my full body. No, no, I'm nervous. Bitch, okay. just go. Okay, but yeah. Um, 
Yeah, there's a lot of people here. A little bit annoying, but it's nice getting stuff done. Okay. Ah, no. No, I don't want any pictures of me. No. Oh. Okay, so what do you guys enjoy about Comic Con? Much better than being at home. You get to meet more weeaboos than you would in school. <laughs> Great. And none of these people are welcome. So that's a lie. That's a lie. There's drama. So There's drama, drama, but... I'd say like 40% suck. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now what do you guys enjoy about cosplaying? Um, I take it as another way to express yourself. I look cool. <laughs> I, like, I like the acting aspect of it when people like ask for pictures and stuff like that. Like if you can do the voice of the character and you're like on a stage and you get to act like that character. I like the acting aspect of it. I feel like you just need to meet your... You can meet people who share your interests without having to go through the struggle of finding the perfect way to introduce yourself or mm. ask what they're into. Right. <laughs> nice. Okay, now, um, I don't know how many of you guys identify maybe as people of color. So, um, for any of you guys that do... <laughs> I know, sorry, weird question, but for any of you that do, um, do you find any hardships in the cosplaying community? Yes. Yes? Yeah, it's, it's mostly because people who are darker than me, because I don't go outside. So I'm really pale, so it's a little bit harder to tell to me. But people who are darker, I see a lot of, like, they'll be cosplaying Sailor Moon, and then when someone sees them, they'll go, it's Black Sailor Moon, instead of just appreciating that they put all that work into cosplaying, they have to put the race, the race as a prefix to what the character is. Mm -hmm. See, I'm not, like, I'm not a color. I'm very, very white. But the <laughs> thing about being very, very white is I just can't find makeup. You can't find um, makeup? Sunscreen? No. I don't really think it matters. People are not yeah. having money. I'm, I'm kind of in the same boat, but less of makeup and more of that fear of wanting to cosplay a character with a darker skin tone. And cosplay community shaming you for that because they're, they're like, oh, you're not that color, you're black facing and stuff like that, and it's, it's actually the same way around for other people as well. Yeah, it's or same way like if you, like if black people put in contacts to match the color of eye, the eye color of a character, they put in like blue or green or whatever, then they get called all these ridiculous names, but if they don't do it, then their cosplay is just, they'll, they'll be called trash for not putting in the effort for cosplay. Mm -hmm. So there's really no winning for, for some of those. Yeah. There's really no winning when it comes to color. <laughs> okay, well, thank you guys so much, guys. You guys all look awesome. I'm gonna get like a full body shot of you guys. Nice. Okay, thank you guys so much. I'm videotaping it. Oh. <laughs> Y'all, we got the US Army here. Those are not from Halo. I know President Trump's troops when I see them. I know, I know my country's troops in that death. Damn right, Misa. Wait, let me see your camera. She's not Misa. Okay, now that Dan has their wig, <laughs> we're gonna interview them. Okay, so what do you enjoy about con, Dan? Um, I really like meeting new people and just talking and meeting up with my old friends. Vendors Hall, where I spend too much money. Another good thing about cons is where you can blow all your money away and not really care. Yeah, where Jake loses all his savings. I uh, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. It's where I lose all my savings as well. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, Cosplaying is a lot of fun to do it at a con because you're around a bunch of people that you're with as well. So like, trying to balance each other out, but I really just like talking to people. Nice. And then what character are you doing? I'm Yusuke Kitagawa from uh, Persona 5. And That's Queen. I really wanted to cosplay him because he's my favorite art boy. <laughs> and I really just like his character because um, there's a lot of backstory behind him, and I'm not really going to say any of just in case there's a Persona 5 fan watching, because I don't want to spoil anything. 
but he just has a really deep character and it's really developed. So I fell in love with who he was. Nice. Okay, now I'm gonna do a full body girl. Pose, bitch. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So we found this section. Um, yes. <laughs> Yo guys, so we just finished up for the night, finally. We've been here for hours. It's like 10. Okay, but we're here forever. It's like 10.30 right now? It's not 10.30. It's 10 o'clock. It is 10 o'clock. 9.01. It's 9.01 and we've been here, or me and Dan have been here since 10 o'clock. So, it's been a long time. But you know what? They got a lot of shit. I'm gonna, oh, hell yeah. I'm gonna show you their shit. Wait, hold up. Let me put my wallet over right here. Look at all of Dan's shit. Their posters. Uh, Dan, show your shit. Uh, how much was that book, Dan? Uh, $65. $65 right there. Damn. And there's all the waifus. Bitch, zoom in on the waifus. I look fucking <laughs> There's Persona posters. Here's Jake's. He bought a bunch of fucking Haikyuu Sports stuff. Sports anime help. This is not Haikyuu. I have not bought a single Haikyuu thing. The only uh, thing I bought that is oh, not it's Kuroko Kuroko Basket is Miku. It's Kuroko no Basket. Oh, wait. By the way, I got a free tentacle. <laughs> they got a free tentacle. They're so happy about that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but honestly, Kuroko no Basket and fucking Haikyuu are just the same. They're just gay no, they're not. animes they're literally about sports. sports. You're just too gay to understand. <laughs> All I understand oh, I is that there's lots money. of gay. Oh, yeah, and they got their buddy. I have one that says, um, Hey, y'all, I'm selling this wallet for $4. Su <laughs> it's suffering, that's why it's called painting. <laughs> oh, I have a picture of my boyfriend, Akira Kuroko. <laughs> Your boyfriend's a child? <gasps> Don't throw shit. Oh, Jake threw me food. It's a granola I bar. Oh, fuck you. And then I got Reggie and Hey, oh, isn't that from Fantastic Lady? Oh, <laughs> Fantastic Ladybug. That feeling when you're dumb. <laughs> I mean, you tried. I did try. Bitch, I bought so much manga. I bought like 20 manga for forty-three dollars. Like honestly, that's a good deal. 43. That's actually not that bad. How much money did you spend today? Overall, well, let me go on this. Wow. Yo, do you want to go Overall, to I probably table? spent like $70 with food and all my manga and shit, but it was fun. It was fun. I feel like I spent a lot of money and I kind of went into my savings, but I had fun. <laughs>